Good morning to our parents and guests who are here today. We're so happy to see all of you for this special event for Grades 1 and Grade 2. For the past years, we have emphasized always on the importance of reading in the development of our children. As in the words of Margaret Fuller, today a reader, tomorrow a leader. We believe that reading opens a whole new world for our children and that they are, they are able to learn more and do more with reading. This time, allow me to share with you some inspiring quotes from one of the famous authors in children's literature, who is also a favorite among our students in Southville, as well as our teachers, and that is Dr. Seuss. Theodore Seuss Geisel, that's his real name, made two, uh, two famous works, which I'm sure you very much know, Cat in the Hat and The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. You may find it very familiar because two, these two works were made into movies very recently. And Dr. Seuss is very famous for his silly rhymes, his out of the ordinary characters, and the unique setting of his stories. But personally, I would like to share with you his books because underneath the silliness of his stories and the unusual mix of words, his works have so much quotable quotes about life. And these are the things that we would like to teach our children. So let me share you some of his books and the le lessons we can learn from them. Okay, Horton's, Horton Hears a Who. I'm sure some of you are familiar with it as well. This is a story about an elephant who protected a small speck from others who did believe that there were people living in it called in a town called Whoville. And Horton's famous line in that book is, a person's a person no matter how small. And this line, as simple as it may seem, teaches our children love and appreciation for oneself and of course appreciation for other people. No matter how they may look like, no matter their size, or no matter where they come from. Another book that is a favorite among educators is All the Places You'll Go. And one of the quotable quotes in that book is, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. You are the guy who will decide where to go. This line teaches our children to be independent self-reliant, and of course, goal-oriented. With these lines, we also empower them and teach them to be proactive. In the same book, we also will be able to read these lines. And will you succeed? Yes, you will. 98 and 3 fourths percent guarantee. And what lesson can our children get from that? The simple lesson of determination. These, this teaches them that success happens and they should believe that it will. And with that 98% and 3 fourths, not 100%, teaches them that there is always a chance that they might make mistakes along the way. But this doesn't mean that they won't succeed. Success is actually easier to achieve than perfection. In another book that sounds similar as the previous one, Oh, the things you can think. There's a line there that says, think left and think right. Think low and think high. Oh, the things you can think of if only you try. These lines encourages our children to be creative, to use their imagination, and to think out of the box, and that the best ideas come from unexpected things. Another book that you might want to read with your children, especially when they are feeling sad or that they are not able to solve their problem, is this one. Did I ever tell you how lucky you are? In this book, Dr. Seuss teaches our children to be resilient, to have a positive outlook in life, and that when things get tough and sometimes impossible to solve the problems, this book helps them or teaches them to change their perspective. There's a line there that says, when you think 
things are bad, when you feel sour and blue, when you start to get mad, you should do what I do. Just tell yourself, Ducky, you're really quite lucky. And of course, one of the most important things we would want our children to have is the love for reading. And that is why we are having this Reader's Theater to tell you and to show to you how much our children enjoy reading. We would want them to be able to pick up a book on their own, to have a quiet time, maybe curled up in their beds or sprawled on the floor, and get hooked on the book that they're holding. And as what Dr. Sue said in this book, I can read with my eyes shut. And I think teacher Marian already mentioned it earlier. The more that you read, the more things you'll know. The more you learn, the more places you'll go. Indeed, we take our children to a whole new world with just a turn of a page. And before we start our program, let me leave you with a final quote, again, from our favorite author, Dr. Seuss. This time reminding us that people have more than five senses. And I'd like to call it the seventh sense, because the sixth sense, as what others would jokingly say, it's the one of the paranormal word, the psychic, uh, psychic sense. Or maybe sometimes some would joke, it's our common sense. So the seventh sense is, of course, our sense of humor. And Dr. Seuss, in his books, really shows that it's actually good to have that kind of sense of humor because it teaches our kids a lot of things. And they enjoy reading those books. Dr. Sue said, I like nonsense. It wakes up the brain cells. Fantasy is a necessary ingredient in living. It's a way of looking at life through the wrong end of a telescope, which is what I do, and that enables you to laugh at life's realities. Being able to laugh about silly things makes life more fun, more interesting, and a happier place to live in. So good morning to everyone, and enjoy the show.